I'm Caitlin. I'm the nature interpreter at the Gorge Waterway Nature House, and today I'm going to be telling you about sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers are in the phylum Echinodermata, along with sea urchins and sea stars. The word echinoderm means spiny skin. Sea cucumbers do appear spiny, but these spines are actually soft projections called papillae and are not used for defense. One of the defining features of echinoderms is that they all have hard, calcareous structures called ossicles. These structures make up the endoskeleton, and in most echinoderms, some ossicles also form hard spines. Sea cucumbers do have ossicles, but they only form the endoskeleton. Sea cucumber ossicles are microscopic and are joined together by flexible connective tissue, which makes the skeleton flexible and allows the sea cucumber to change the shape of its body. Even though sea cucumbers are soft-bodied, they still have lots of ways to protect themselves from predators. Their first line of defense is to contract their longitudinal muscles when they're startled. So the longitudinal muscles are muscles that go along the length of the sea cucumber's body, and when it contracts them, it becomes much shorter and also more rigid and tough, so it's a lot harder for predators to get at. A second and more unique defense that sea cucumbers have is that they can expel their internal organs from their body to either tangle up or scare away predators. This sounds like it would be really bad for the sea cucumber, but actually they can regrow their organs in just a few days. Most sea cucumbers are scavengers and feed on plankton and small pieces of organic matter. Sea cucumbers feed using feeding tentacles, which are tube feet around their mouth that have been modified to collect food particles. Different species of sea cucumbers have different methods of feeding, and their feeding tentacles have adapted to these different feeding techniques. For example, some sea cucumbers filter food particles out of the water, and they have feathery, branching tentacles with lots of surface area to catch particles. Others, like this California sea cucumber, sift through sediments for food, and they have more compact, sturdy tentacles that can move pieces of debris. I hope you enjoyed learning about sea cucumbers today. Next week, I'll be back with our final Sequaria video on two different kinds of fish that we have in the Sequaria. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!